Hi there guys and welcome back to some more rebuilding the Detroit Lions. It's crunch time here in Detroit, it's the playoffs. We went 17-0 in the regular season with the first team since the Patriots in 2007 to have an unbeaten regular season. Now we go on to New Orleans. They come to us, of course, last time we played them, we absolutely just demolished them. I think it was like 38-7 or something along those lines. We'll give you a quick recap now of what happened in that game. Swift. Massive hole right up the middle. Okay. We get to him again. Force a fumble. It's DeAndre. It's, sorry, Deshaun hand. I keep saying DeAndre hand. And there we have it. It's a 17 0 lead with three minutes left. This kick is good though. 17 3 as we head towards the half. It's zone. There's Gilby. And there's his first receiving touchdown of the season. His first of his career. No. no! That is bullshit. Hawkinson gets in for the touchdown. Picked off by Jeff Okuda. And can he go the entire length of the field? That's going to be a 100 yard pick six. What a play. We smashed them, right? Now, it's the playoffs. We can't be taking anything for granted in the playoffs. We need to dominate this game, get ourselves into the conference championship game. Press conference, the first of many. Coach, you're heading into your first playoff game. Playoff success often makes or breaks a career. How important is your first playoff win? Ask me after the game. We never come to the stadium with the plan to lose. We'll show up, we'll be ready, and we're going to win the game and move on. Guaranteeing the win has fired up the Saints and they'll have plus five break tackle and hit power. <laughs> oh shit! Let's make sure we don't get hit. Okay, weekly strategy. You know the you know the game plan. It's been working well for us defending the short pass and running inside, so that's what we're going to keep it up with. I wonder how many players are going to have some upgrades. A lot of players on the defense, which is nice. Oh, and me. Okay, good, good. We'll go with me first. We're going to go with Field General. Field General's always good because it upgrades most of your accuracies. Plus one throw power as well. 98 throw power for Brown now. Jeez. We're going to leave it so that they just get upgraded automatically. It's time for the biggest game of our season. They're going to want revenge for what happened in the regular season. They're fired up from my comments as well, or from Dan Campbell's comments. Throwing on first down. Right, there's a screen. I wasn't expecting it to be a screen straight off the bat, but we'll take just a gain of two on that. Two rookie quarterbacks as well in this game. But I think we've stopped them short. Yeah, we have. Ah! That's not what we wanted. Whack! Take that. Is it holding? Surely, got to be. It is, okay, good. Alvin Kamara looks tired already. There we go. There's a sack, who is it? I think it's it's both Aquara brothers getting there. You'd love to see it. So good. Well, I thought there was going to be a hole, but <clears throat> four yards we'll take. Surprised by his demeanor. Oh, I'm sacked on that play as well. We're going to punt. We're, we have a three and out to start this game. It's not a good start. We we'll go back to the cover three. It's how the, the guys on the line in this formation is what I like. Good hit from Anzalone. Make sure Kamara doesn't go anywhere. There we go. There's another sack. Who's that hand? His 19th sack of the year. So that could be man coverage. No! Ah, oh, it was. Ah, almost. We get 10 yards on it, but it's not quite what we need. We're going to have to punt again. Neither team really getting anything going this first quarter. It's been very nervy to start this game. That's another sack. It's hand in again. 
There's another short catch. What's that cover three? That's potentially man, but we get a, we finally get a first down, and we're two minutes, well, a minute, just over a minute into the uh, second quarter. Here we go. Let's see if we can get Gilby involved now. He's going to be the guy they're going to key on. There we go. Get some, we got another first down. Let's get something going here, even if it's just a field goal. Something to get us in the lead. It's Gilby again. Makes another catch. They're back to the ground. Swift. Oh, if he just if he breaks that tackle, that's a touchdown. Gilby with another great block on the edge, as he often has. We got a first down from Swift. You love to see it. Switch it up here and look to throw. Keeps himself upright. Now he's forced no, don't run towards me. Oh, there we go. We get we get the first down. I thought we were going to get sacked again. Just broke. Just about broke it after. I think it was Cam Jordan just grabbing at the jersey. Your teammates will tell you you've got to get him on the ground. Well, there's almost the first. Almost the first there for for Swift. He's up to five yards a carry now after starting very poorly. Okay. <laughs> no. Of course we're going to do it anyway. No, why was it there? I wanted it into the corner. Such a poor throw. I thought he was going to go actually into the corner rather than just to the post. Or like to just outside the post. That's annoying. It's a fumble. Oh, fuck off. How does he manage to get there when my two of my guys were on top of it? And we'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you okay. <laughs> this is how we do. But the bottom line is, take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. There we go. 73 yards is all we've had so far. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. That's Hawkinson. Can't get out of bounds. We're going to take our first time out there. This is the look we want. We want the, we want Hawkinson to be able to go deep down the middle, but no. Oh wow! They sent everybody. I see. Yeah, it's Hawkinson over the middle. He goes down to the 23. It's like a blitz. There's Gilby. Gets down to the four-yard line here. Take a timeout. We're going to look at hopefully running this in. Swift on the ground, in for the touchdown with a few seconds remaining of the second quarter. We take the lead. Okay, obviously our, uh, <clears throat> our rushing yards weren't particularly there to start the game. Oh, that's a massive hole. And Swift gets a first down. Let's run it, boys. <laughs> outbounds, outbounds. Okay, back to Swift. There we go, good. <coughs> good little run. 11 for 61. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rolling to his right. Guess we'll just run it. <coughs> That'll do. Okay. Back to Swift. Breaks a tackle, gets a couple. Or five even. Taking their time and making it work. There's Gilby on the sideline, makes the catch. And we're down to the 15. Okay. Give it back to Swift. He finds a little gap, gets seven yards. Play action. There's Gilby. That's going to be a touchdown. And we take a two score lead. Woo. I thought Akuda was in the right spot there. Teams do this a lot where they just change their formation. Is it that based on how we're looking? Nope. Oh dear. What oh, a good hit from Harris. As I say, they need to score right now. They know that there's not as much time as they want on the uh, on the board. We've obviously never had a shutout either in this series yet. So uh, that. I don't think it's going to happen in the in the playoffs. See so if we can hold him. Back to throw, Shelton. 
Smith catches left side. I wonder if that kick of field goal actually stuck him here. <clears throat> How is Sean Payton thinking? Oh, oh, oh. Melifonia has blocked a kick already this season. Not here though. So 14-3. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Okay, so it was at this point that my Elgato decided to corrupt the footage again. I'm getting tired of this. I lost an entire season's worth of footage because of that particular reason. Um, but yeah, we ended up winning this game 33-3. to A bit more of a blowout than what uh, we originally um, looked like it was going to be. Um, obviously, you saw us score... Our second touchdown, New Orleans got their three points at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And we ended up going on to score another 19 points, which was another two touchdowns, a field goal and a safety. On the day, Brown ended with 14 of 17 for 169, two touchdowns and a pick. Uh, he was sacked five times in that game. New Orleans came to play. Like, don't let the scoreline fool you. We were really pushed in that game. In terms of rushing, the day was saved by DeAndre Swift, 151 yards on 21 carries and his single touchdown. Gilby ended the day 7 for 88 and a touchdown, which we kind of expect. And uh, John Ross had one catch for three yards as well, um, his first postseason catch uh, for us. In terms of defense, we didn't have loads of tackles, it was more sacks that, were, that we were uh, recording. Hand got another three sacks, taking his total to 21 on the season, and the Aquara brothers um, combining for the other three. We did have one pick from D'Angelo Franklin, and we went on to then play the Seattle Seahawks. Um, this game started off a lot better. We ended up getting um, far more uh, success. Uh, in terms of moving the ball on offense. We ended up winning 38 to six. Again, don't let the scoreline fool you. Seattle did come to play. They were just being stopped all over, the, uh, stopped everywhere, basically. Our defense was too good. Brown finished the day 10 of 14, 208 yards, two touchdowns. Russell Wilson, though he didn't um, throw any interceptions, was it only three for 102 yards? Rushing wise, again, Swift came up clutch. You can see there, 32 carries, 164 yards and a touchdown. Brown had two touchdowns um, on the ground as well. That was where our five, uh, five offensive touchdowns came from. Gilby, four catches for 112 and, a, and two touchdowns in this game. TJ Hawkinson also coming through pretty well for us there. Four catches for 67 yards. Offensively, again, we don't really get a lot of tackles. We force teams to punt quite a lot, so we don't have extended drives. Four tackles for a loss. The three sacks came from the Aquara brothers. Julian with two. Romeo with one. That means that we go on to the Super Bowl in the next episode. Where we will play the LA Chargers. Who went 9-8 and eight on the regular season. Uh, there's going to be a special uh, presentation for the Super Bowl day. Um, or the Super Bowl episode. Uh, where it's going to be more like... TV footage. We're going to have stats, analysis, highlights of the season before we get into the Super Bowl against the Chargers and of course then hopefully come out with a win and be the first undefeated team since the Dolphins in 72. But yeah, as always guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including potentially what could be the last episode of this uh, Rebuilding the Detroit Lions series, then please subscribe and I'll see you next time.